Welcome to B&B RV. We're in Denver, Colorado at 6960 Smith Road. We can be reached at 303-322-6013. We're going to take a look at our Coachman Leprechaun. This is a model 317 that we've upgraded to have the uh, recliners in this unit. So we'll walk around the outside here and show you the, uh, the exterior. We've got a backup camera and side cameras on these units. You're going to have a storage here access to your generator. This compartment here is your electricity. You've got a couple ways to get electricity with the motorhome. One is to have it plugged in here and have the generator on. So when you're plugged in there, you've got generator power. Unplug this cord, plug it in at the campground, and you'll have campground power. When you put this cord back in, when you leave the campground, remember to plug it back into that outlet or you won't have power when you start the generator. That's just a furnace, water heater. This is access for your cable if you're gonna be hooked up to cable TV at the campground. This is an access panel to be, reach your, um, your dump. So on this one, you've got two valves. You got the black valve and the gray valve. Your hose will be stored back here. You'll come up, take this cap off, put the hose down into the drain. You're gonna pull this black valve toward the back all the way, let that drain. Once that black's all dumped, close it, and then open the gray and dump it. That gray water is soapy water from your sinks and showers, and that'll just rinse all that out for you. Then you can close that up, put your hose away, and then when you go inside, under the sink in the cabinet there, you'll find a pouch with packets, little pouches in it, and put one of those little pouches down into the toilet and flush it down, and that'll keep it from growing and smelling And uh, until you do that. Every time you dump that black tank, put one of those pouches in. Fuel, regular unleaded fuel, this is where you're gonna hook up to your city water connection. We're gonna have a hose in here, and this will be where you hook up your water to refill your tank anytime you need to refill your water. This is a little outside shower for you, just a little shower handle. This is gonna be the big storage compartment in the back. There's three doors to access this, goes all the way through, so you have all kinds of storage, take your stuff along. Water hose, cable, and some gloves in there, so everything that you need. We've got camp chairs. You can have a set of blocks in there. Those blocks are for you to pull up on to get level. So if you pull in somewhere to stay, if you're gonna park for more than about 15 minutes, you should be level. So any side that's low, put those blocks in front of the wheels there and just pull up on the blocks to get level. It's your refrigerator that needs to be level. You have to be level for that fridge to uh, circulate and work properly. This is where your sewer hose is stored, right in here. This is access to that same storage compartment. We put a ladder on every unit. It's not a patio, it's access for us to get up there. We inspect it every time it comes and goes, but don't get up there unless you have an emergency situation. It's very slippery when it's wet. This is the other side of our storage. Another small storage unit here. This is a storage, small, shallow storage, and a couple more. Storage here is great for your shoes, things like that, right by the door. This is a propane access, so if you do need to fill propane on your trip, it's right there, it's all built in. Stop at the campground, truck stop, U-Haul, any place that does propane, they'll fill that for you. Your door is gonna have two locks, a lock on the handle and a deadbolt. So the same thing's true on the inside. You got a lock on the handle and the deadbolt. When you get in and out of the door, you want to hang on to this handle, not this handle, because it'll come apart. And then this has a latch that will hold it open. You just want to make sure you have a hold of it in the wind. If the wind grabs this and throws it against there, it'll just punch a hole in the door. So make sure that you hang on to the door. And then you can latch it open if you want to keep it open and shut the screen. Right inside, we have a few uh, switches. This is your battery switch. It's gonna be on and you wanna leave that on for your whole trip. This is your electric awning. This has a huge awning for your patio. Just has an in and an out. So you're just gonna push that awning and let it roll out. 
Do not have that awning out if it is windy. Do not leave that awning out when you leave the coach or when you go to drive, obviously have that in. Then these other ones are all just um, light switches for inside and outside, makes it easier to get in and out of the coach. Come on in, we'll check the inside.